Good evening. Welcome to Compline, a service of nighttime prayer at the close of the day. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. By day, O oh God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Let us confess our sin. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed. But some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve. I'm going to read Psalm 8, which is the Psalm for Trinity Sunday, um, which will be celebrated on uh, this year on June 12th. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth, for whose glory is chanted above the heavens out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and avenger. When I consider your heavens the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what are mere mortals that you should be mindful of them? human beings that you should care for them, yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. This psalm sort of reflects the position that humans have been honored by God as they have responsibility to care for all things that God has created. I'll read uh, from Romans chapter 8. St. Paul writes, I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then for um, reading from, again, this week's scripture, uh, Proverbs is an interesting uh, book of the Bible, which has a whole series and isn't read very often. So I'm going to read the, from Proverbs 8. Does not wisdom call and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out. To you, O people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of a long ago. Ages ago I was set up, at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields or the world's first bits of soil, when he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command, 
when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and delighting in the human race. Again, um, this passage has reference to the human race and Proverbs speaks to wisdom and often identifies wisdom in the feminine gender, um, which is what we're reading here. And then finally, the, I thought I'd read the gospel also for this week. It's John 16. Jesus said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that, that awake we may wa watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>